weird intro but what's up people and to the aliens and the extraterrestrials I'd like to say we come in peace so Christmas is just around the corner everybody's relaxed and laid back cuz it's the last month of what has been a hectic year but don't be too relaxed though just two days ago I got stolen Warnavin Rotaki not stolen I actually got robbed somebody ran off with my e-ticketing card in broad daylight in a full pack Suva City now I don't blame this particular kid I mean times are hard and on this particular day I felt and I actually looked a million bucks so I had my brown shoes on fully polished, my long pants and my fancy purple shirt. Now you put those three things together and this is how I look. That wasn't actually the pictures I was supposed to share with you guys but hey, at least it wasn't nothing but an oily bird with I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what even is fashion? I mean, we'll talk about that later. But back to the story, back to the story. So I was walking towards the bus stand and I had the card loosely on one hand. And, uh, but my mind was actually in Nandi, thinking about the Pacific pageant. And uh, I was thinking about how I could start a hot dog business with uh, Miss American Samoa. And boom! A small kid pulled my e-ticketing card and ran off at a hundred miles per hour. And it was beautiful. I mean, Hussein Ball would have been proud of that kid. Even I was cheering for the kid in the first 20 seconds. I was like, you go kid, you can do it. Run Forrest, run. You go boy, you go. Give it your all and then he disappeared into the crowd and I never saw him again. Now later that afternoon somewhere in the city that kid would try and use my e-ticketing card and he would try and go on a bus and check the balance but he was only coming there to take my card because probably he thought my card would be actually full. On that particular Thursday that kid's eyes would have been opened and he really learned a very important lesson. Never judge a book by its cover. Because the fact of the matter is, I only had one cent left on that card. Now I carry my wife's card around and at the back they got the name Maggie and some of my friends are asking, hey, your real name is Maggie? Thank you, boy. Now because of you, I probably have to buy a new e-ticketing card. I already hate this system, but then now I hate it even more. But I hope you learned that important lesson next time. Don't just try and pull a card of somebody who's fully dressed. I mean, everybody's fully dressed, but somebody who's well dressed and think that you've hit the jackpot. Because on that particular day, you could have gone into a cell or slept there for one whole night. For what? For one cent? Yeah, that's, that's the problem when you try and rob me, man. the bonus feature and you know about that rubber duck thing I mean I mean let's have a look again oh yeah mm, I mean I'm I'm lost for words what can I say this is probably the work of somebody who's never designed before this is probably this is definitely a new designer and um, maybe it's it's a new thing that's coming up these days you know uh, I think I saw something on Hollywood. I think Tom Cruise was wearing something like that, like that rubber duck. Oily but uh, nothing but a rubber duck. Quack quack. Uh, the weather's gonna get hotter and hotter. So, I mean, there will come a time when we will only need to wear nothing but a rubber duck covering our um, um, uh, prized possessions. Uh, Definitely, there will come a time when it might be a normal thing. So, 
that's my position on this rubber duck thing. Quack, quack.